Welcome to the Rayon Program's Sounding Diagram Options Hodograph tab. All features shown are available to the Rayon Basic Program unless otherwise indicated. For this video, we have preloaded a sounding file and zoomed the image into the upper portion of the diagram to better see the hodograph images. So, first we'll right click the mouse to call up the options panels and then access the hodograph tab. Now we'll click the Plot Hodograph option and hit the Apply button. And now you'll see in the upper left corner the mini hodograph. This mini hodograph is available to the Rayout Basic program, whereas the expanded full screen hodograph requires the optional hodograph and interactive module. The first hodograph option we'll demonstrate is Range. As currently set, the hodograph represents vector winds for the entire sounding profile. When we select the custom range, we can designate the depth to be plotted. In this case, we'll use the already specified values of 6 kilometers for the top and the surface level for the bottom. Upon activating this custom range, the hodograph is accordingly updated. To better see this 6 kilometer hodograph, we'll now look at the axis origin options. We'll change from the centered option to the data dependent option, which auto adjusts the hodograph axis to focus on the primary data quadrant, like this. Now is a good time to turn on the storm motion vector since it will be easier to see with this updated hodograph. So we'll check the storm motion vector box and apply it, and a brown colored arrow vector is now drawn. And note that this configure button allows various storm motion options. However, changes can only be made with the optional analytic module. With this basic program, the storm motion vector is preset to the traditional 6 km deep steering flow method. So far, hodograph scaling has been automatic, but by selecting the manual scaling option and changing the max limit from 50 to 60 knots, we can see an updated hodograph scale. Let's now look at the data dots options. Currently, each wind is represented by small red dots along the hodograph curve. By selecting the each kilometer AGL option, the data dots now represent each kilometer interval including numeric labels. Notice that the 6 km data point corresponds to the same 6 km top range setting. This just leaves the last set of options, the plot location settings. And to better see how this works, we'll first back out to the widescreen viewing mode. Before we change the plot location options, we need to make two diagram adjustments. First, We'll move the options panel downward for a better view. Second, to better show how these options interact with the data listing, we'll also activate the data listing by going to the Analyses Data tab, and then turn on the Classic Displays option, like so. And now back to the Hodograph tab, where we'll select the upper right option, and there's our relocated hodograph. Also note that the hodograph covers the top section of the Analyses Data listing but the storm motion, helicity, and other parameters are still displayed below. And now, before we demonstrate the last option, the right screen mode, it is important to note two requirements. First, you must be using an HD or widescreen display. Second, your Rayard program must have the optional hodograph and interactive module. So now let's apply the right screen view. And now we see a larger hodograph. This view and many other hodograph and diagram features are available with the optional hodograph and interactive module, which can be seen on their own videos. That completes the Sounding Diagrams Hodograph tab video. Thank you for watching.